A few months ago, I talked about the Canon BGE22 battery grip for the Canon EOS R. And today I want to talk about it again because there was actually a firmware upgrade. Did you know that firmware upgrades for battery grips exist? I didn't until I actually read about it in a comment under one of my videos. And yes, it is true. This BGE22 actually now has a firmware upgrade, which adds a couple of nice things. The new firmware upgrade actually makes it possible so that you can charge third-party batteries inside of the grip. This actually means that you can plop in two or one, if you want to mix and match or want to just put one in third-party batteries into your grip, close it off, plug one USB-C cord in on the side right here, and you're good to go. The charging will be indicated by the LEDs here on the side and it will start usually about 5 to 15 seconds after you plug in the cord. And of course after installing this firmware upgrade, at least I didn't notice my third party batteries charging in there before. Now you can charge either one battery, you can charge two batteries, then they are actually charged one after the other. Or you can mix and match between originals and also the third party batteries. But that's not all. They also added, and I think that was more the intention behind this upgrade, the support for the LPE6NH batteries, which are of course the new and more powerful LPE style batteries that they are now producing. Now those are all the upgrades that I was able to find, which are in this firmware upgrade 1.1 for the BGE22 battery grip for the Canon EOS R. Now for installing this, you basically go to the website and I will have a link to that in the description down below. Then you can land right here. And here you will find the files for either Windows or Mac OS. And when you wanna download those, you have to tick this little box right there click the download button, and then you will actually get a DMG file, which you then of course can open. And now with this open, you can see you have the firmware upgrade itself. That's the GFU file right there. And then you also have the update procedure in a PDF format. So for example, you can have a look at that. And there, there's actually a pretty clear description of how you can actually do this upgrade yourself. Now to install this firmware upgrade, you need a SD card. You plug this into your computer, of course. And once it's in there, it should show up. And there we go. And now you can just drag and drop this over. And I already had it on this card or on this camera. So it was just replacing that. Once that's there, you can just eject the drive, take the card out of your camera, and now I need a camera. Now with the turned off camera in my hand, I'm just gonna put the SD card inside already. However, I also of course need to build into the camera the battery grip. And for that, of course, we have to take off the battery door. If I wanna go out now, I could also pl place this into the battery grip. Then I also take off this door right there for the communication. And then I can just place this right in there and lock the screw or screw the screw into the body. And now with the battery grip installed, I make sure that it is turned on or off. That doesn't actually matter. And then I can turn on the camera again. And with the camera boot up, now I am actually in video shooting mode. However, the menu for the firmware upgrade is only available in photo shooting. So you press the mode dial and then the info button to switch into photo shooting mode. And now you can see on the screen, we are in the photo shooting menu. Now with that, I can go into the menu by pressing the menu button and on the wrench icon, page six, you can then find the firmware area. When you enter this, you will be greeted with different firmware versions of your camera, lens and battery grip. Of course, we want to have a look at the battery grip and that already is at version 1.1. However, if you don't have this update installed, of course, then 1.1 would be the new one. Now, if I open this new firmware upgrade, it will say going from 1.1 to 1.1. So I'm not gonna do that now. However, if you just go here and click OK, then the firmware upgrade will be installed onto the battery grip. And with this upgrade through, we are already done and you have a battery grip that supports or better fully supports LPE 6NH batteries and also charging of third party batteries. Now, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section down below. If the video was helpful, I appreciate a thumbs up and I hope to see you in one of these other videos. Ciao, ciao.